Hey, Dalton here from Daltonian Surf Reviews, and I'm just posting this as a response to Jim's. Uh, you might know him as uh, Monkey's End TV, responding to his video about uh, gimmicks being good or bad, with you know my my ideas of what you know good or bad uh, gimmicks are. So, uh, you know, the, over the past 30 years, even you know. There's gimmicks and, you know, like he said, there's gimmicks and other things, not just Transformers, but it's just been increasing more, and, you know, going back and forth with different gimmicks between the Transformers for the past 30 years. And, you know, for me, there are a few that stand out being good or bad. The ones that stand out for being good are, you know, in my opinion, the best ones are the combiners. You know, you can get six, five to six toys you know, have individual vehicles, individual robots, and then you can put them together to make even one bigger toy for, you know, even one more powerful robot. So, you know, as long as it's done right. You know, Energon and, you know, the movieverse did not do that right. But G1 Classics, you know, even, you know, I, I use this very loosely and it's kind of a stretch, but even some of the Energon molds did somewhat of a good job with that even though the limbs kind of were crap but you know you can change them around and make kind of pseudo limbs as soon as I can get this camera and just make them look a little bit better or, you know I like I said I use the term loosely you know good for Energon combiners but you no know, they, they were all right you know they weren't as terrible as say Devastator in the Revenge of the Fallen movies, because that is absolutely, in my opinion, the worst combiner you can ever get. I don't care what anyone says, that's my personal opinion. Another good one that stands out is Triple Changers. Because, again, you can have multiple toys in one. You know, that, that's how Transformers are, to begin with. You get a car, you get a, you know, whatever it turns into, and a robot. With these, you get the little extra part. You get two vehicle modes and one robot mode, yeah, the vehicle modes kind of have things that stand out that shouldn't stand out on that type of vehicle. Say with Astrotrain. You've got a steam locomotive with boosters. Or you get a shuttle with train wheels on the bottom of it. You know, kind of the same with Springer. You know, not very much difference in the original Springer's two alternate modes. And then don't... You know, the worst one, in my opinion, is Broadside, so don't even get me started there. That is a terrible excuse, or example of a G1 triple changer. But, you know, even another good one is the Alternators. You know, the, these came out, and, you know, I just loved them. You know, this is the only one I've got, but, you know, I, I love these because you can have a model car-looking figure. You know, it turns into what looks like an actual model car, scale model car, and a fairly decent robot. Some of them worked a little bit better than others. You know, I like this mold, the Trax Battle Ravage, but you know, others didn't work so well. The biggest, the worst one, in my opinion, would be, say, like the act, you know, the um, the Gravity Bots gimmick. You know, it, it's for little kids, but it just didn't really work that much and for me the one that you know the worst gimmick possible for me was the Armada Minicon activation gimmick so many figures were plagued with that so badly that it just you know the figure was terrible because it was built around that gimmick and it just did not work the two prime examples I can think of are Armada Hotshot and Sideswipe. You know, with Hotshot, it's all built into his torso. So you have no no shoulders, you know, they move up and down, that's it. You have no head articulation, nothing. It just, a spring, flipped up cannon, turned it around, that was it. That was your gimmick. That's all you had to do with robot mode. For Sideswipe, you press the front of the car and the whole front just juts out and I guess that's a battle ram attack mode but you know even that those 
parts of the car that jut out became his arms, and he had parts of the windows hanging off his side. I mean, yeah, not all the Armada figures were that bad, but, you know, just those two alone, building a toy around a gimmick, you know, again, it just irritates me. It's just one of the worst gimmicks I can ever think of. And it just... There's no, no worse gimmick I can think of than, you know, building a toy around a gimmick. So, I, see, I just can't think of anything else to say. I mean, it's just... Well, another one that kind of irritated me was the mech tech gimmick. Having this big transforming gun, and especially for the Lux class figures. Um, let me find one real quick for an example. Got here... And the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee's cannon. I mean, yeah, it's a strange little gun with a tiny barrel. Pulled out, it becomes a fairly decent, look, decent looking cannon. But, see, it doesn't lock into place. It's another one that was, you know, the toys were built around a gimmick and it took away from the figure because it used up so much of the toy's budget. You know, that's why we got such hollow... You know, even the movie verse figures are kind of supposed to be hollow to make the movie aesthetic work for that figure. But the quality of the plastic itself and the lack of paint applications, you know, it just took away from it, just like with the Armada figures and their Minicon gimmick. So, you know, if, if there's anything you want to add to that, you know, just leave a link down in the description below. I mean, because I... I can't think of anything else to say. So, combiners, alternators, and triple changers, good. Minicon gimmicks and mech tech gimmicks, not so good. So, yep, that's been my response to Monkeys NTV's uh, good or bad gimmicks video. I'll put both description to his video on it and his channel down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.